Good morning, Warrior family. Um, I'm Miss Gaither, and I'm the principal here at West Ardle High School, and we are diligently working on our reopening plan because we're excited to see our Warriors back here on Warrior Drive on Monday, August 17th. Um, yes, students will be here on campus. Um, two days a week, there will be uh, students here, and then the other three days a week, they will have remote instruction. So how that split up is on Monday and Tuesday, students that have the last name beginning A through L will be on campus. So on Monday and Tuesday, if your last name begins A through L, then you will be on campus having face-to-face -face instruction with your um, teachers. On Thursday and Friday, if your last name begins M to Z, then you will be on campus working with your teachers and getting instruction from your teachers. Now you're probably wondering what about Wednesday? Well, Wednesday we've set aside for uh, students to receive extra assistance in English, math, science, and social studies. So a student has the opportunity a week in advance to sign up to be able to come on campus on Wednesday to receive assistance in one of those four core courses. Now you're probably wondering, well, where are your courses? You know, where is everything going to be housed? Um, all, of our all of your information, all of your coursework is going to be housed in Canvas. And a lot of you guys worked with Canvas last year. So all of our teachers will have a Canvas page. They all have the same landing page. So it will all look the same. So all of your work will be housed in Canvas. Your assignments, any videos, um, any extra resources the teachers may have to help you to be successful in their class. You just need to understand that you will be held accountable for all of the work that is assigned by your teachers, no matter if you're here at school with face-to-face -face or if you're at home doing remote instruction. So your teachers will be providing feedback and they will also be assigning grades. So just make sure that you stay on top of your grades. I encourage you that when you're here face-to-face, -face, you're running a schedule. When you're at home doing remote instruction, I encourage you to run that exact same schedule so that you're up when you're supposed to be working, you work on your first period work, you work on second period work, you know when your teacher may have planned a period, you can shoot them an email if you have questions on their work. Um, another thing is, is that you guys need to be aware that we are putting all our safety protocols um, that we have to because we want all of our warriors to be safe and healthy. Um, so one of the things is that when you come to campus, you will have to complete a health screening each morning before you enter the building. So that health screening includes a temperature check and it also um, includes you having to answer a series of questions. If you've been to the doctor or you've been to the dentist or you've been to the orthodontist, any of those places, it's the same process where you have to answer a series of questions and you have to have a temperature check. So we're implementing that exact same process. We will have three to four locations where students will enter the building and we will have some videos showing you the exact process and where those entrances will be. Um, students will be required to wear a mask while in the building. So just making sure that you have a mask that you like. If you don't have masks, the state has provided five masks per student and we will be getting those to them and they are washable. So we will be getting those to you guys as soon as possible. And But while you're in the building, you must wear a mask. <clears throat> and we will continuously want you to practice social distancing from everyone around you while you're on campus. Um, so making sure that you understand that when you're in the building, you're wearing a mask. And we're also practicing social distancing when we're traveling in the halls between classes. Um, if you're in the bathroom, no grouping up. Um, we are going to try to have it where you can have lunch in the cafeteria. Um, but it's a matter of you've got to follow the rules, the pro protocols, and all the processes that we've put in place in order to keep you safe and um, secure and your well-being and keep you healthy um, while you're here on Warrior Drive. Um, if for some reason you're wanting your child to completely do all of their work remotely, then I need you to please contact the school and speak with Ms. Bach, who is my guidance counselor, and she can look at your child's schedule and she can talk to you about the different options to figure out what is best for your child. Or you can email me at ellen, E-L-L-Y-N, underscore Gaither at iss.k12.nc.us and I will get you some information, but I will also put you in contact with Ms. Bach as well. 
So I ask you to just please stay tuned for further updates on what the morning check-in process will look like, um, what our bell schedule is going to look like, what our um, open house potentially is going to look like because we can't have all 840 students and two parents on this campus at one time. So we will look at onboarding our ninth graders and then doing something virtually with our 10th through 11th and 12th graders. So please stay tuned for further updates. Um, we're excited about getting our Warriors back here on Warrior Jive. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate. Call the school 704-873-2181 or email me and I will get you um, your questions answered. And um, if you have anything else, please don't hesitate to call and ask. Thanks and have a great day.